I mean, it, it's been like this big like evolution. You know, one thing's led to the next. Ultimately, it's been like this path of uh, of like just proving proving it. You know that I can that I can be who I want to be. You know, honestly, I think that's kind of what made me this person. Like that shock value of like just all of a sudden just actually having the assets and the freedom just to like become whatever. Some inspiration hits and it gives you an idea. Some inspiration hits and it gives you a direction. I've, I, have, I have tons of concepts. I have books and books of just ideas and concepts. Uh, Cause sometimes like I'll get an idea and, and it's, it's not a good idea cause like the timing's off. It doesn't mean I'm not gonna do it. I'll come back to it. And there's some concepts that are Texas Tech themed that I really wanna come back to now that I have like bigger space um, and I can make bigger paintings. I've, I've fallen in love with Pittsburgh. It's crazy to know that I've been born in two places. And to really know that, that the person that I am is so radically different than who I was because of not only what I've learned, but the experiences that I've had. It's, uh, it's, just, it's, just crazy, uh, it's just crazy love I have for Pittsburgh. I mean, Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh right now um, is in such like a cultural renaissance. I, I'm not sure if the city is quite grasped yet what actually is happening. I wanted, I wanted to give it much more of a voice. Um, the art scene, uh, Pittsburgh has always had an art scene, but the art scene has never had um, necessarily a collective voice. Um, I don't want to be the voice of the art scene, but I want to create a conversation. I had an interesting question for myself. How do you, how do you know your work is valuable? Like, is there a way to know that? And I thought about it and I thought about it and a numerical amount doesn't dictate the value of artwork um, because the most valuable artwork does not get sold, it's just owned. And in that mindset, I, I had the thought that if I put my art in the street um, without my name on it, just my work as is, telling people to look at it and see that it's free, would they take it? And they did. It's crazy to see like what that's become and how that's inspired other people to share their work. Um, other artists, it's something that they do. It's, it's just, it's this crazy thing that like, I got to be like a pioneer of, you know? And uh, it's just been really cool. It's starting, you know, just getting in a space, taking a step to say, all right, I'm gonna sign a lease. I have a business front in an actual city that needs businesses. Um, in a town that is like down on its luck that needs young people to come in with ideas. And I actually took that first step to take those keys and to open the doors and to put paint on the walls. I don't know, it's kind of it's kind of bizarre that they'd follow a 27 year old on this crazy, this crazy adventure, right? Um, because they've they've done it, they've done big things and they've, they've seen big things and they've been part of big things. Um, so, it's like knowing that they see something in me worth like giving their time to and following um, gives me like a tremendous like sense of like purpose. What's up? I'm Baron Batch and I'm the artist and I am a Red Raider. <laughs>